Hi, this is Click Dork. I've just finished running one of the NPATH queries to find the top 40 paths through the bank web clicks data that were part of John Thuma's exciting series on how to learn Teradata Aster. What I'm going to do is take this same information, pull it straight into ClickSense so that we can play with it. I've created an ODBC connection using the Teradata ODBC connector. ClickSense allows me to look at this. You'll see I'm going to connect to the Beehive. I'm going to choose the owner public. It's going to list the tables for me. I'm going to choose that bank web clicks data that we used as part of the exercise in the training. He brings back the field metadata and he shows me some of the samples of the data. And if you've used this video, you'll know that that is the data that we're looking at. He brings this data back in and I can name this table instead of just assuming that I want it to be the same name as the database itself. One of the things about clicks that's interesting is I can also do ETL. So when I extract things, it doesn't have to necessarily be pure table form or I don't have to create a view ahead of time. I can run those exact SQL MR queries inside of ClickSense. And as I'm bringing that data back, you'll see I can do some ETL things like rename these fields. So the first top 40 paths query, I'm going to call path traveled and path number of times. And for our BME, that bill manager enrollment query, I'm going to call it BME path traveled and BME path number of times. I would go load that data, but I don't want to waste your time doing that. I think you would understand what's going to happen is it's going to go out and fire those queries, but they take about 40 seconds each for those unpath queries. So I already have that data loaded. We're going to get started at that point. I'm going to simply want to look at some of this raw data. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to narrow it down to my web clicks. And all I have to do is just drag and drop these fields in here. And so I'm going to bring in these, this data one, uh, one field at a time. And you'll see now I've loaded those million rows of data. We can also do the same thing in a little bit more fun fashion for the end path inquiry and that's obviously the beautiful part of this. I'm going to create a sand key and I'm going to choose that path traveled and I'm going to choose the path number of times as a dimension and there's my top 40 paths visualized in ClickSense. I could create a table to do the data so I'm going to go ahead and create a table just at the top of the screen and I'm going to say hey I want to add that path traveled and then if I change my mind, I can go ahead and say, no, nah, I really wanted to be in the BME path travel. That was the other screen. I could replace that field. And then I can also go ahead and choose the number of times added. And we can add that as a measure or as a, as a dimension. I'm going to add that. And then you can see our counts for how many times these paths were traveled. And of course, the fun thing, though, is seeing it visualized in a pretty way. So we're going to create the sand key instead. And I'm going to choose that BME path traveled and the BME path number of times instead. And there's that sand key. One of the nice things, obviously, I can resize any of this as I choose. And there you have it in a matter of a few minutes. We can take that data straight out of Teradata Aster and bring it right into ClickSense and visualize this in a way that makes a lot more meaningful sense for the end user. Hope you're having as much fun learning Aster as I am.